In this video, I'm going to um, give you some hints, tricks, or clues on how you can memorize your six reciprocal identities. Um, usually what I do is I tell my students that they could write all six of them relatively quickly in a nice little pattern at the top of their test before they start their test. For me, the three most common trig functions are sine, cosine, tangent. And usually students do not have a hard time memorizing those in that order. So we start by writing sine and then cosine and then tangent. All right, now knowing that they are reciprocal identities, all right, that automatically means that you have fractions for each one of them and one is going to be your numerator in each one of them. Okay, now for sine, I think I tell my students think of that first letter S and then the reciprocal identity of that is always the opposite letter. So instead of an S, I'll have my C and each one of these denominators are going to be the um, co-functions basically. So sine, think S, opposite letter C, so this has to be the cosecant of X. Alright, so we're looking at the first letter of each of those, that being an S, and this being a C, and it's always the opposite. Alright, if that's the case for this one as well, I've got cosine here, it's a C, so that means this has to start with an S, and it will be my opposite cos, you know, co-function to that one. So cosine, this one has to be then secant. All right, and again, taking a look at the C there and the S there. That's how we remember it, opposite letters. All right, if these are always my co-functions and this is tangent, tangent's co-function is cotangent. All right, so that one's not hard to remember at all. Okay, now this is the first three, sine, cosine, tangent. All right, so that means I've got my co-functions I have to do. I write them in the exact same order as the denominators here. So cosecant x, and then secant x, and then cotangent x. All right, the same rules apply for each one of these, the reciprocal identity, so I know that I will always have a one on top. All right, and the first letter has to be the opposite. All right, so this is cosecant. It starts with a C, so this one has to start with S, so it has to be the sine of X. All right, so you've got that C and S thing going on on these as well. So if this is secant, it starts with an S, it's... Uh, reciprocal identity has to start with a C, so it'll be cosine X, and then let's highlight that out, so then the S and C again should help you remember those, and then cotangent's got to be the co-function, cotangent, its co-function would be tangent X. Alright, now another thing, if you can write the first three, all right, sine, cosine, tangent, and then you can remember how to get those bottom ones. The bottom ones become the function on this side, and then sine, cosine, tangent is right there as your denominators. So just one way of using the first letter of each of those and remembering it's opposite. If, if I've got sine, then it's got to be one over the one that starts with the C, which it's cofunction cosecant. All right, so definitely uh, just a quick little trip on, uh, trick on how to memorize your reciprocal identities. Uh, definitely thanks for watching. If you think this is going to help you, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and be sure and share with your friends. Thanks.